Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Topics. My name is Chris, I'm an SRE here in RTP North Carolina, and today I'm here to talk to you about block awareness. So let's start with what is block awareness? Block awareness is a way to protect against failure of any 2RU block. Depending on your model, this can be a one, two, or four node uh, failure. It's smart placement of resources. This means that we make sure to place replicas on different blocks so that we have a copy of an entire block goes down. Whereas before in previous versions, we just saved it to another node, which could have been in the same block. We also do some things with our uh, Zookeeper or Zeus, which is our management uh, server, and our uh, Cassandra ring, which is our metadata tools. We also distribute those across the blocks to ensure that losing a block isn't catastrophic to either one of those core features. Because it's just smart placement of resources, we're not using any more space than RF2. So this means that you have the same amount of space, it's just extra protection. It also protects the cluster differently from RF3, which is also introduced in 4.0. RF3 protects against the failure of any two nodes in the cluster, whereas block awareness protects against the failure of any one block in the cluster. So deciding which one to use uh, is a design decision. Finally, please note that you need to have at least three blocks in your cluster in order to use this feature. Anything less than that, we cannot guarantee that we will have uh, proper awareness of the blocks because we can't guarantee that we'll have uh, enough copies of Zookeeper and our metadata ring. So what's the configuration look like for this? In a new cluster, it's enabled by default. If you've got three blocks, it automatically places the Zookeepers on different nodes and the Stargate replicas on different uh, blocks. Everything's happy and block awareness will update. In an existing cluster, say for example you upgraded to 4.0, you'll probably need to redistribute the Zookeeper instances. Finally, say you have a 4.0 cluster and you add another block to it, so now you've got the required three blocks. In this case, you may need to redistribute uh, Zookeepers, or, or not, depending on how many you had before. So once again, it's the Zookeeper migration. Once you've got that, Curator will go through, replicate the data as needed, and update block awareness so you're able to survive a failure. Now let's go take a look at the whiteboard and see what some of these failure scenarios look like. So here we have a 3.5 cluster. This was three blocks, install a 3.5. Let's say they're 3450s. So in 3.5, since we didn't have block awareness, we could place the zookeepers anywhere. So we might get a zookeeper here, a zookeeper here, a zookeeper here. In addition, we could have put the uh, data for the Stargate replicas anywhere in the cluster. Maybe you have A here, A here, B here, B here. We can't say for certain. So in 3.5, if we lose an entire block, it's red. the entire cluster can go down. Now we only have one copy of Zookeeper. It's not enough to reach a quorum. However, let's go over here now to 4.0. Here in 4.0, we've got block awareness. So we automatically will place, if installed with this, we'll automatically place the zookeepers on different nodes. The system will also be smart enough to move um, replicas between places. So we have A here, A here, B here, B here. So that if an entire block fails, it's no big deal. We've got a copy of the data, and we've got two zookeepers left for a quorum. Now, if you compare this to what RF3 looks like, so we get rid of this. So with block awareness, if we lose this node and say this node, the we still have lost data. We no longer have a copy of that data. So block awareness will protect against four nodes failing as long as all four are in the same block. Now, if you're worried about nodes failing across two blocks, you can instead use RF3. With RF3, we keep three copies of all the data in the cluster. So we have AA A, and we'd have another A. We have uh, B, we'd have B, and we'd have another B. So now if we lose two nodes, we can lose any two nodes and be fine because we still have a copy of the data. So that's a quick overview of the different failover scenarios that you run into with block awareness. If you check out the PowerPoint below, I have more information, including some logs you can look at if it's not working, and what it looks like in the GUI if it's failed, and these uh, diagrams drawn out in more detail. Thank you for joining us here in uh, Tech Topics. I hope this information was valuable to you and that you're able to use it in your environment today. Have a great day.